Damn, it's still there. Fugitive prophet has crossed out of the Empire and now turns north. I'm now in unfamiliar territory. The Order of Trinity was clear. I am to pursue the false prophet and his adherents to the ends of the earth and wash away his heresy. But I believed I could overtake him months ago. Still, he eludes me. He crosses Khazar land and across the Caucasus mountains. Here, I'm at a disadvantage. I speak a dozen tongues of the Empire, but in the hinterlands, I'm often left to communicate with little more than a sword. The Prophet, it seems, speaks every language, as if he were born to them. through the lands of the Rus. I cannot shake the feeling that he's taunting me, waiting until I'm a day's ride away before moving on. I will not be home before the winter, as I hoped. I've stopped at a small village by a glassy lake they called Svetloyar. The prophet spoke here, and now the villagers refuse me lodging. I slept on the banks of the lake, where a young man, bearing a crude version prophet's icon, tried to kill me as I dozed. I made an example of him, and now the people fix me with the evil eye, spit at me as I pass. I must move on soon. His sickness spreads. Cold. An arrowhead carved from bone. This looks like Mongol craftsmanship. This was a whistling arrow. Mongol archers would fire these over their enemies to frighten and confuse them.
Spicer. A sort of passport. Whoever held this spoke with the authority of the Mongol Empire. It reads, By the power of eternal heaven and order of the Empire, whoever does not show respect will be guilty of an offense. Byzantine war galley. How the hell did it get down here? <clears throat> hmm. It's Mongolian. They passed through here. I must be close to the lost city. Maria Adula is trapped. The ice gave way. Her spine snapped in two. No matter. While I hope to wield her cannons against the false prophet, we will continue on foot. I have six of the Order of Trinity's best, and we have been stockpiling food and supplies while the sailors starved. They do not know it yet, but they will give their life for the cause. My men and I will find our way out of these icy caves and continue on foot. Before the ship was swallowed by the ice to the south, we heard music. That will be our first stop. But first I must rest. The cold has sunk into my bones. And I am drowsy. Just a little sleep. should be able to climb those oars.
find out what's up there. wealth with them. the archery techniques of the foes of the Byzantine Empire. It's done. We'll die here, thanks to Coraldus and the madness of the Order of Trinity. My ship will never see water again. We entered the glacial sea too far into the winter. Would have been turned back, but Coraldus would not abandon this lost prophet. He and his dead-eyed warriors seized control. He forced the ship through shallow tributaries until we could go no further. Then he made my crew construct sled runners, and the bastard forced us to tow the ship over land. It was death and excommunication to deny him. But it was death either way. I will make sure he dies here, with us. I've always kept a little poison at the ready, in case the ship was taken. Now, it has another use. Team brooch. The enamel work is beautiful. This portrait has been defaced. It looks like it was depicting the prophet. They must have had to hide their faith.
madman continues on. I, I do not know what drives him. We pass through frozen mountains at the edge of the world as people are dying. Every day, I pass graves or bodies left along the faint trail. I have grown thin and hard, but I am close now. My, my horse is dead. The mare that had been with me since the campaigns against the Bulgars. I butchered her and carried the meat on my back. But I am so close. I can hear them singing just over the ridge. A joyous sound on the wind. Our prophet will be dead within the week. And I will return to the Order of Trinity, triumphant. Just one more day, oh, and I will be upon him. enemy. That remains to be seen. You killed those men back there. I killed them to survive. I suspect you did too. How long have they been here? Days, at most. The invaders took many of my people prisoner. You should leave this place before it's too late. I can't do that. I came here for something important. So did they. If I see you again, I'll put an arrow in your throat. You and I are on the same side. I hope I can prove that to you. What's going on down there? Who... out here, and they appear to have been here for a very long time, living in isolation for decades, maybe even centuries. I notice elements of her dress, small adornments that would not have been out of place in the Byzantine Empire. Could they possibly be descendants of the Prophet's people? How much do they know about the lost city or the divine source? It's clear Trinity will do anything to find out. I'm afraid that whoever they are, they're in grave danger. Let's hope the old proverb about the enemy of my enemy remains true.
can do for him now. Constantine is on his way down from... First day in Siberia, and it happens. Two years in Afghanistan and another in Indonesia, nothing. But one day out here on the ice and pop, I get a kill. Watch the man's eyes go glassy as he begged me for something. Not Russian, no clue. I waited with him and watched. One minute he was there and next, nothing. Just meat. I got sick on the snow, all mixed in with the kid's blood, but he's just meat now and I'm alive. Constantine keeps telling us we're out here for a special reason, tells us we're doing God's work. I'm starting to see that now. Listen. We need to get this mess in order before he arrives. Hey, can anyone hear me? God damn it, we gotta get comms back up. Never seen anything like that. Crazy son of a bitch. Rushing three armed men with an axe? I don't know how they... I'm gonna check it out. Be right back. Be careful. Stop! Whoa!
Lennon lived. Lennon lives. Lennon will live forever. I know I've taken some jobs of questionable legality, and I know you're not happy about it. But I couldn't pass up this contract. Been trying to get work with Trinity for years. They're discreet, the pay is obscene, and they always have opportunities. Now here I am, and I already want out. We're at an abandoned Soviet installation in the middle of nowhere. No one's telling us low-level contractors what's going on, but... I think I might be helping some seriously scary people get a nuke, or something equally awful. Honestly, that's the best case scenario. Ping me back if you get this. I've carved out a secure channel on the network. For an operation like this, you'd think they'd have better security, but I guess that's why they hired me. or he'll bleed out. The Red Army is coming. I've been tracking them for weeks watching as hundreds of men build the iron monstrosity across the ice. Men have died, their frozen bodies left scattered in the tundra. No rites of passing, no burial or burnings. These new invaders are cruel, godless men. Do they come seeking the precious metals of the mountain? Or like so many before them, are they drawn here by the divine source? My people must again prepare for war. One fucking chance right now. Tell us everything. Where <laughs> Adios, Adios, Adios. Adios. 